So this is room number six at the Gaylock Hotel. I'm going to start here with the bathroom because this is the first thing you see when you walk in the door. Uh, so you can see it's a okay sized bathroom. Uh, bath with a shower over the top and uh, a wash basin around here. And it's nice and warm. Uh, nice clean fresh towels in there as well and then back into that main part of the bedroom and let's show you the size of the room so it's quite a good size room for a twin bedded room and uh, nice comfy beds uh, nice comfy duvets two pillows on each bed which is always good as well uh, bedside lights which are um, okay they're a bit they're a um, bit sort of dull for bedside reading but they'll do for a night um, little chair and a table over here television on the wall and uh, let's swing back and give you a view of the room so wardrobe little uh, writing desk area here uh, a good supply of tea and coffees which some hotels haven't been putting in during covid so it's nice to have that in the room a uh, hair dryer, which has got actually, I think, the longest lead I've ever seen on it. I could literally dry my hair one side of the room to the other. Uh, the only thing that uh, was a bit of a problem with this room is actually, well, the view um, is, uh, uh, is it's not exactly exciting. But I'll come around and give you a, a better view of actually the main issue here. So first thing, a lot of hotels do this. Uh, quite thin curtains but you might be able to see outside these two bright they're really bright um, lights that are on all night and they're obviously there to light up the emergency exit stairs but they also shine right in the bedroom window as well so if this room had um, a blackout blind instead of these thin curtains on then I think that would be a big improvement and other than that we paid uh, £76 for this room for a night um, without breakfast uh, given the demand that there is at the minute because it's the October holidays that actually is quite good um, breakfast available ten ninety five, 95 um, and at the minute you have to go and uh, book it uh, you have to book your time and you have to leave as soon as you finish breakfast. So we decided we didn't want to do that. So £76.50 for two, not including breakfast.